Trevor the Traction Engine was enjoying the look at the vicar of Georgia. Birds were singing and apples were brightening on the trees. It was a lovely day. Hello, Trevor, said Percy. You look as bright and cheerful as my green paint. I am, replied Trevor. What's that noise? It's the bees, laughed Treasure. They're on the balcony called beehives. I taking them to the station. The vicar said his bees make good honey and giving them to his friend. So then Boko, the diesel engine, hummed in. Take care, you two. They'll make the bees angry. They might sting you. Percy didn't like to be told what to do by diesel, and he buzzed away. Goodbye, Trevor. Call Boko. I sound to see Duck at the next station. Bill and Ben, the tank engine trains were busy arranging cars. They scampered off when they saw Boko. To choose a corner, I remember the first time we met those two at Boko. You remember my eyes pop out. Ed Thomas soon put the stop at the other game. Thomas is the only engine that can be keep Bill and Ben in order, chuckled Duck. I sometimes call them the bees. A good name, with Pi Boko. Their tails when they stop buzzing around. Hong Kong's the diesel. Percy bustled in. What's that, Duck? Are you afraid the bees? They're only insects after all, so don't let them buzz back. Diesel, tell me what's new. His name is Boko, and he can tell me what's new. I wouldn't kill anything, I just won't go slow and make them buzz off. Buzz, 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 we told the duck. Choo choo, said Thomas. At the next station, Percy arrived at the station, collected his coaches. The passengers were excited, they were keen to get on board the platform count, and the porter was in a hurry. We, we, mm. Mind your backs, Mind your backs as he shouted. There was then there was trouble. The beehive fell and broke. Oh, the station cleared like magic. Percy heard the familiar buzzing. The bees were too cold to be clocked and buzz around the time. And the bees turned to Percy. His uh, boy was nice and warm. Buzz off, buzz off! His Percy won't be burnt to death. Uh, uh, the bee had Percy and burnt him on purpose. So it stung Percy. Right back on the nose. Eek! Whistled Percy. Yeah, no. So was his driver, Hyman. He didn't notice the two way that he left his coach behind just trying everything to get rid of the bees. Plus, they spun on the toy table. But no one ran. They were trying washing them off. But the bees clung harder to Percy's warm boiler. And they tried smoking him uh, by going through the long tunnels. But still, the bees wouldn't go away. It's no good, Percy. We'll just have to go back to the orchard and fetch another hive. So, Percy's reply was drowned by the sound of buzzing. The vicar was waiting in his way for Percy. Come on, Percy, said his driver. Then now it's a good host down. Where that evening, good Percy was resting in the shed, and the vicar came to see him. Thank you for saving my bees. The opinion is not Christmas. Then we call you Percy, the red nose engine. Then we laugh and include Percy. But it's not Percy, the bees need. They find he was more than useful than ever.